Now, another thing that might be weighing on Biden is his family's legal exposure. During yesterday's Senate hearing, Biden's hatchet man at the Department of Justice, Merrick Garland, swore he's going to remain hands off on the investigation. Promised to leave the matter of Hunter Biden in the hands of the U.S. Attorney uh, for the District of Delaware, who was appointed uh, in the previous administration, uh, pledged not to interfere. The U.S. Attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority uh, to, to make those kind of uh, referrals that you're talking about or to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. But former FBI assistant director and frequent angle guest Chris Swecker, he's not buying it. Eric Garland knows what he's supposed to do. He's the surrogate for the for the administration. It's just a wink and a nod. I, I don't, you know, he can pledge that he won't interfere all he wants, but there is no reason why the U.S. attorney in Delaware should be sitting on this case for well over a year. What is taking so long? Joining me now is Kentucky Congressman James Comer, chair of the House Oversight Committee. Um, Mr. Chairman, do you agree that there's something fishy going on with this elongated timeline? There's something very fishy. Uh, there's no better example of a two-tier system of justice in America than what we see happening with Hunter Biden. I mean, he's owed $2 million in back taxes for years and years, yet nothing was done about it. Uh, he has charges. He has probably more bank violations than any uh, American that, that I've ever seen. And I come from a pretty decent banking background. I mean, this guy, if you look at what Stephen Miller released today with the documents that he obtained through a FOIA request, you could make a very easy argument that Hunter Biden was an unregistered foreign agent. That's a very serious crime. I mean, and the list goes on and on, money laundering uh, and, and even worse. But yet nothing has been done and we haven't even heard a peep from this Delaware U.S. attorney, it's very odd. Everyone in America is keeping up with this case, yet Merrick Garland continues to act like, well, he doesn't know anything about it. He's staying out of it. I don't think anybody believes that. No. And of course, uh, Mr. Chairman, the New York Times is backing the DOJ's handling of the uh, probe by about Hunter Biden and uh, saying that Joe Biden should clearly call for his son to cooperate, but not with the Republican circus on the Hill, but with the Justice Department. That would let Hunter Biden stand on his own and allow the administration to focus on issues that matter most to the American people. So, Congressman, clearly they're worried that you all might actually uncover something and, frankly, just state what's on the record in a persuasive manner. Not yeah. that the media will cover it, but we will. Well, look at how the mainstream media has changed just in the last six weeks, just since uh, we've taken over and I've become chairman of the House Oversight Committee and Jordan's become chairman of the Judiciary Committee. The media has gone from uh, all of this was just a witch hunt. It was Russian disinformation to now. OK, yeah, there's probably some wrongdoing there, but uh, we don't need to put the Biden family through all this with the Republican circus. We need to let the Merrick Garland do the right thing. We trust Merrick Garland and, and he'll he'll do the right thing. So the media has done a complete 180 on this already. Everyone realizes the evidence is out there. They what they has really scared of, Laura, is the fact that just this week, we've spoken with four people that were involved in the Biden family influence peddling schemes. They're coming forward now. They're starting to cooperate. Our attorneys are working with their attorneys. So we're making Good. progress with this investigation. Oh, I, well, just the way they treated President Trump at Mar-a-Lago with the way they held back the information of the search of and the finding of these classified documents at the Biden residence and the slow roll of all that information. I mean, just that tells us what this FBI and Justice Department is all about. This is political bias ingrained in our legal system now. And, and they're supposed to be the defenders of democracy? Really? Yeah. No. And, and you look at the, what the general counsel for the National Archives admitted in a transcribed interview with us was that uh, he wasn't allowed to post things on the National Archives website about the Biden uh, mishandling of classified documents. And he wasn't allowed oh, yeah. to respond to me because the DOJ or, or the White House one, he wouldn't admit, but it was one of the two, blocked him. But he could do whatever he wanted on the Trump mishandling of classified documents. Another example of a two-tier system of justice run by Merrick Garland. Now, the lawyer, one of the lead lawyers, or top defense lawyer, quit Hunter Biden's legal team. What does that say about the state of this case? 
it says a lot. You know, I want to hope that that lawyer saw so much evidence of someone that was abusing his power, abusing his family's name at the expense of American national security, and he walked away. Or it could be because uh, the new lawyer on the team, Abby Lowell, is doing some things that I think are getting real close to crossing the line. So, you know, either way, this is a sign of disarray in the Biden camp. And I think you're going to see more spin coming out of the White House mm. and more calls for either a special counsel or for for some way for Merrick Garland to come in and save the day and block us from our oversight. Well, he, Hunter Biden better do a lot more of that blow art if he's going to pay those bills. Congressman, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.